with the first cannon blast, America would be thrown into a great civil war. Wake up and smell the coffee. If you said that to someone, you mean they must start to be more realistic and aware of what's happening around them. America, smell the coffee. Look around you. Americana is being lost in our country every day. Hi, I'm Dale Murray. I represent the United States Christian Commission, an organization that came out of the YMCA in 1861. They were a benevolent organization for the purpose of ministering to the soldiers going off to war. They would distribute Bibles and hymn books and gospel literature, but they were also a volunteer group that stayed home and waited for a telegram. Once they received that telegram, they were promised to be out the door in five minutes on their way to a battlefield. Uh, wherever they were needed, they were given instructions where to go and who to see. Uh, when you joined the Christian Commission, you were given a kit. It consisted of a badge like this one here. You also received a rubber blanket, canteens, haversacks, tent cups, pails, and most important of all, a journal. They wanted every delegate to keep a daily journal of who they talked to, how they helped them, what the results were. And um, there were over 5,000 delegates by the end of the war uh, serving through the YMCAs with the help of a network of 10,000 Protestant churches. Each church had a ladies' aid society that would uh, make shirts and socks for the soldiers under apparel. This was all their accomplishments in just um, four years. Over 58,000 sermons, 77,000 prayer meetings, over a million Bibles given out, 18 million religious newspapers, over a million hymn books, 8 million knapsack books, 39 million pages of tracts. They wrote 92,000 letters home for soldiers wounded and couldn't write. And the general public contributed over $6 million during that time period through the YMCAs and the churches. Is that, that, that um, 1860s? Yes, 1860s. And what? notice uh, 68 cents, they kept very good records. <laughs> um, so they ministered in different different way, ways and different capacities, um, from the battlefield to, the, to just following the armies around. This was another way they ministered here. They only built one of these. This is a coffee wagon, 108 gallons an hour, coffee, tea, or cocoa. It was not here at Gettysburg, but it was built in Philadelphia, and it followed the Fifth Corps down through Virginia. And it was at Appomattox when General Lee surrendered to General Grant. Matter of fact, after the surrender, there were a couple of Confederate regiments that smelled the coffee, and they hadn't had real coffee for years. And the aroma drew them through the Union line into the Christian Commission camp. The delegates saw them coming, so they got a cup of coffee ready with their left hand, and they stretched out their right hand, welcoming them back to the Union. America, what are we going to preserve? You are looking at just one of many humanitarian inventions to come out of the American Civil War. A coffee wagon dispenser that assisted our Civil War soldiers in alertness. This coffee wagon is an antique relic originally financed by the Jace and Sanborn Coffee Company, which was patented on March 24, 1863. This antique relic is 8 feet by 3 inches tall with its smokestack 10 feet by 2 inches long by 6 feet wide. There is absolutely no remnants of the original coffee wagon left. That is one reason why it is so imperative to restore this one. The amount of metal work needed to restore the working part of our coffee wagon is beyond our ability. For that reason, a machine shop was employed. And after careful inspection of one boiler, it was determined that patching was not the way to proceed. And the copper pots with its lead-based solder 
must be upgraded to a food grade stainless steel material and to replace the outside metal skin. In other words, a complete overhaul is needed. Although many period war reenactments are reenacted around the world, the American Civil War reenactment is by far the most popular in the USA. In 2000, the number of Civil War reenactors was estimated at 50,000. The 150th anniversary of the American Civil War has regenerated interest and stimulated growth in the hobby. The United States Christian Commission, USCC, is committed to performing the role that the original United States Christian chaplains did during our American Civil War era, bringing to the battlefield Bibles, single Bible track sheets, refreshments, and coffee. Being a reenactor can not only put you in touch with your inner soldier and will also deepen your understanding of our country's past in Americana. Living like a person of the 1860s, family members participating in period clothing even only for a few hours or a few days will surely improve family relationship and give you a better understanding of our forefathers' ways of living. November 16, 1861. On this day, delegates of the Young Men Christian Association, better known as YMCA, met in New York and voted to start an outreach to minister to the Union soldiers. This outreach would be called the USCC. The USCC was created in response to what the troops suffered at the first Battle of Bull Run on November 14, 1861. National Committee of the United, please consider the USCC invaluable contribution to American history and legacy and help them restore our coffee wagon. Thank you.